hi guys so i have like a lot of explaining to do hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hi my name is sylvia and it's nice to meet you if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back i love you okay guys welcome to a new vlog i literally just finished filming a video it was like a an episode review of the real housewives ultimate trip ultimate girl strip or something like that it was fun i tried a different setup for that video i don't even know if i'm regretting it because it was after filming that's when i realized that i was not in focus and that has never happened to me before i'm always in focus so that was weird i decided to lock my exposure for the first time since i started since I started doing YouTube, I've never locked exposure because I never felt I never felt the need to lock exposure because I always film like in the night time with my ring light. But I said let me film with natural light today. So I locked exposure because anything can happen with natural light. So I must have also locked focus because it was focusing on my background and not on me. Ah, so annoying because that video was over 50 something minutes and I can't film it again. Welcome to a new vlog. I'm sorry, I just bombarded you with all this information. <laughs> Stay tuned. I hope you enjoy it. Bye. Hi guys. Today is Sunday. Happy Easter, everyone. Yeah, I just got back from work. Work doesn't sleep on Sundays, especially on Easter. So that's sad. <laughs> that's why working in 9 to 5 is better. I'm so tired. Forget the fact that I'm busy smiling up and down. I'm actually really, really tired. Um, I just what do I want to do? I don't even have I don't even have the energy to eat. I don't have the energy to cook. Oh god, I'm mixing up my words. <sighs> don't have the energy to cook. Just order pizza. The disciplinarian, I think I am, but I think I yell and scream too much at him. My husband. The big house suddenly took a. <laughs> hi guys so i have like a lot of explaining to do by the way today is 29th of i'm trying to pick up my rope today is 29th of june i don't remember the last time i spoke to you guys because it's been one hell of a month i got a new job more hours better pay so my time is no longer my time but i'm trying my best okay so let me just catch you guys up let me put on my robe first okay i'm in the kitchen because the lighting is bomb of course so as i was saying if my hand stops hurting i'm going to get a tripod but for now let's just roll with it so yeah a lot has been happening may was intense for me money was stolen from me like a lot of money and sent me back what you know as a young adult what you're really trying to do is save money you're trying to save money and when a lot of money goes out from you it really takes a hit but never have one account try to have two accounts and try to have reliable people in your life honestly because whew, i don't know how i would have gotten through if i didn't have all these things i just mentioned but that's by the way so may was something else and that's when i switched to a new job as well so like a lot of adjusting and this is june right now wait <laughs> this is the end of june oh god catching you guys up i am traveling to nigeria in like four days today is thursday right friday saturday sunday in three days on sunday i'm going to be out of this country i'm going to be in nigeria for about three weeks i am going to go to abuja i'm going to go to calabar i'm going to go to lagos i'm going to carry you guys along it's going to be fun um it's summer right now in uk so the sun is out everywhere is bright but it's going to be brighter in nigeria i cannot wait to eat food like good food the one i know you know and i can't wait to be with loved ones so that's what i'm really excited about so as i'm speaking to you right now i have not packed yes i can hear you shouting at me yes stop shouting i've not packed and that is because i ordered a lot of things from Shein, like over 300 pounds worth of things and they have not come i ordered these things like two weeks ago Honestly, whenever I order from Shein, the few times I've ordered from Shein, 
they always over deliver like they come faster than the expected date so i thought i was safe but i guess the amount of things i ordered is what is taking time because they split my package into three so i'm expressing three different packages and one of them is in uk the other one just got into uk like today i just got the mail today and then the other one the third one they're still expecting it other some things from amazon trust amazon to come i ordered another thing from amazon is coming i ordered some skincare that one is coming i still need to go into town and do some last minute shopping that's probably going to happen like tomorrow i'm not sure but let's see how that goes tomorrow is friday i can't do that today because today is my off day and i'm tired i'm so tired like i'm having a headache right now as i'm making this video but i know i have to update you guys and i know that if i don't do it today tomorrow it just tomorrow is going to be hectic so there's no point like i wanted to do it today and i've not had breakfast yet so you can understand my state of mind so that's it that's the update guys it's been one hell of a two months yeah it's been hectic but we thank god we thank god honestly um yeah that's the update basically so i'm going to just take you guys on when i finally decide to pack i have i already know what i'm taking to nigeria like from my wardrobe i bought out a few things and kept them on my box yeah and then the rest of the things are going to come from Shein and some other shopping i'm going to do in town and i want those things to enter the box first before i put other random things so a friend of mine suggested that i know i'm talking a lot but this is an update so bear with me so a friend of mine suggested that i have a separate box for other people's things like maybe gifts i'm buying for family and friends so i think it's a very good idea i have a smaller box that is just consisting of other people's things and then the big the bigger box is like my things so that's mad i'm using turkish airways so i have like a very long layover in turkey <laughs> honestly it is the most economically um safe option that's why i went for that and if, my friend said it's not that bad so yeah Spending thousands of dollars on British Airways, I don't, sorry, thousands of pounds on British Airways, I don't have it, so yeah, Turkish Airways is reasonable, it's not cheap, but it's reasonable, right now it's all about packing, it's all about shopping, it's all about getting ready to travel on Sunday, so I'm going to be using a coach from Swansea to London, I'm going to be going through Gatwick Airport, not Heathrow, I heard that Gatwick is less chaotic, it's a smaller airport, that means there are less people and it's less confusing, I hope, <laughs> I hope that's the situation. So I'm going to be using Gatwick for the first time and let's see how it goes. So from Swansea to Gatwick about 5 hours and then get on the flight, but I'll talk about that all like later. So the skin is popping, oh wow, okay, anyway, so yeah that's the update guys, let me get something to eat and we'll talk okay bye more packages my only job today is to receive packages that's why i'm home that's why i can't leave this house today because packages are coming in today and there is no safe place to put them and i'm not friends with my neighbors so i can't ask them to keep my package for me so tough times huh <laughs> but one of them has just come so expecting more so yeah another parcel just came so i'm just gonna open it to do a little bit of a try on haul i don't think i can do a try on haul for all the things that come but since we have this one let's start tell me why i thought this was just a trouser i thought i ordered just a trouser it turns out this is a full-on outfit it's a jumpsuit wow okay this is what it looks like um let me flip the camera so you get a full view so this is it I mean it's cute it's cute and this is in a size 8 okay and the length is perfect as well 
as you can see the length is perfect this is it I ordered this shimmy. I have it in white. I always wanted the black, but let's try it on because it doesn't look like my size. Okay, so this is it. I think it's cute. This is size 8, but now I'm thinking that the white one I have is a size 6 because look at this. I don't know if you guys can tell there's a bit of a. Yeah, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's cute. I wish it was tighter. Like, let me hold the back something like this you know but yeah i mean it works it's cute hi guys so it's evening now and i'm on my way to watch a movie i'm going to watch little mermaid yes i've not seen it yet i've been kind of hoping to see it i don't know what my plan was exactly but i know that i was going to see it but time has not allowed me and now i have time so i booked a ticket for 7 20 it's like seven o'clock right now so i need to start going if not yeah it doesn't really matter it's not like as if the movie starts exactly by 7 20 their ads and all that stuff so let's go and watch little mermaid <laughs> okay bye oh this is so cute and kind of like different that i might be the only one watching this movie today but no one scanned my ticket no one stopped me i was just moving like i know where i'm going to and no one said anything so here i am waiting i know you guys can't see me and i hope you guys can hear me but i'm waiting for the movie to start the screen is not even on right now so waiting hi guys i just got in it's freezing outside like Oh, like if you see the world's walking there. If I could fly, I would have flew. Anyways, I took out my ponytail. <laughs> I couldn't even deal. I stopped by Tesco. I got lasagna. I've never had the lasagna, so this should be nice. I also got pasta. Ouch. I got pasta. It never really hurts to have pasta. Even if I don't finish it before I travel. Something you can store and come back and meet and you'll be good. So I'm going to pop the lasagna in the oven and I'm going to talk to you guys about Little Mermaid. Instructions are here. Okay, so we need baking tray and then it says place it on baking tray and then take out the fuel. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Okay. It says we should put in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. So I'm going to set my track. English. I'm going to set my timer now so that I can do other things while I wait. I almost forgot that I said I was gonna like talk about Little Mermaid and what I think. So basically, what I feel is that I enjoyed Little Mermaid. It was really nice. It was really cool to see Little Mermaid as a black Little Mermaid. <laughs> because I feel like they completely rewrote my childhood. All I've ever known is white Ariel. White Ariel with the red hair that seems like it's like a Brazilian weave. But to see Ariel be black and have locks. And like just to see like the black people in the little mermaid movie gave me a whole new understanding to little mermaid it's deeper than 
oh god i'm about to go deep now okay so like it's one thing that the prince and the little mermaid are from two different worlds in terms of water and land and then there's the deeper meaning of it being that little mermaid is black and the prince is white literally two different worlds you know almost like a metaphor underneath a metaphor and i just i thought it was really deep and it was very interesting and i think it's nice for kids to see this and see all these fairy tales this way and have a new meaning and new understanding to fairy tales and the fact that fairy tales are not only for white people you know I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how I felt. It was really nice to watch it. It took me back. It really did. It really did. And I also like the fact that her sisters are all from like different tribes. So like it really brings together everything. It was just beautiful. It was beautiful to watch. Okay. So yeah, that was it. That was my takeaway. So I'm still waiting for my lasagna. It's in the oven. It has like 30 more minutes to go. I'm just going to watch Grey's Anatomy and call it a night i showered before i left so i'm not showering again just need to like eat okay and i guess we'll talk tomorrow because i think this is it okay good night good morning guys so today oh my goodness okay so today is a very rainy day in Swansea like it's drizzling I think it's drizzling right now or it has just stopped the roads are wet so <clears throat> it's that type of day a lot of people are not out um but we move regardless so today I'm expecting two orders from Shein <clears throat> um the delivery company Hermes or every whatever they call themselves these days has already sent me like the update that they're delivering two of them by between um 1 and 3 30 p.m today um the other skincare stuff i ordered from boots now that i think about it i should have let them deliver it to me here but i was scared i was not going to be home so i kind of diverted my order for them to deliver it in the post office and i'll pick it up because regardless i'll be in city center they haven't yet delivered it to the post office ah, okay so that's what's happening today yesterday i spent the entire day at home just waiting to receive orders which i did it was successful and eventually i went out today the plan was for ms to deliver my stuff in the morning because they always they're always very quick i know all of a sudden they are being late but I expected <clears throat> that they'll deliver it in the morning so that I can get other things done with my day. Today, I'm supposed to be living in the city center. Like, I'm supposed to be in city center, going from shop to shop to shop, finding things. That's my only job for today. But now, MS have given me assignments. So now, the time is like 10, 10 o'clock. So I have to go to city center and rush back home before 1 and hope that they don't somehow pull a stunt and deliver these things earlier than usual because they always stick to their time so they should not come and be over delivering now i did not ask them they should better stick to 1 to 3 30 because that's what i want okay so i'm going to head to where am i going let me just go to where i'm sure first primark i'm going to go to primark and I'm going to see what I can buy from Primark. I already have like an idea of what I want. I have to be very quick. And then I'm just probably going to enter H&M. I don't even know. Like I'm, I'm just going to enter very quick. In and out. I'm not wasting time. I know what I want. That's the plan. I'm having the lasagna I made last night for breakfast. Let me show you. So that's what I'm having for breakfast right now. So, is it? I know it's a big piece, but because I'm hungry, I'll speak to you guys later. Okay, let's go shopping. I 
I just got in. I've gotten my skincare. I should have honestly just made them deliver it to me. But anyways, I've gotten it. You see this bag? It's full of stuff I just bought, including the bag. I'm sorry I couldn't take you guys on the shopping because I had to make executive decisions. I had to make them fast. I had to be out of there. The time is 107. That's how quick I was. Yeah, okay, it's kind of quick. I left this house by like past 10 and I made it back by 107 and I got almost everything I need except a few things. There was a store that I went to. I wanted to get a shoe. The shoe is beautiful, but they only pay cash and I, I didn't have my ATM card, so I have to go back. And they are on sale too, so hmm. I love it good. I love good sales. It's Friday, so a lot of stores are on sale. So that's nice. The delivery company emailed me to let me know that they've moved the delivery time from 1 to 1.30. So I don't know. I don't know why. <sighs> Let's wait and see, Sha. Okay, I just thought to do a little haul while I wait for the other orders. So let's have fun. I'm just going to open this right now. I got sunscreen. I got two. Um, I'm thinking of giving one as a gift. So that's why I got two. I've been seeing this sunscreen everywhere. So let's test it out mm. i want to see if it like leaves a white cast okay oh my god this is amazing wow guys look at that no white cast I love this. Okay, it's not bad. And it doesn't have any scent. It doesn't have any perfumey scent. Oh, fragrance free. Duh. I didn't even see that. I got ordinary. This is a gift. Um wow, why that why did you feel like I got a lot of things? I got this L'Oreal moisturizer. I'm in search of a new moisturizer. The one I had before was so good so good but it's so pricey this one is cheaper but that one was so good i just i had to try it out so that i know what i'm looking for when i do have money to spend like that on skincare i know what to go for so yes i went for this one this one was not expensive it's more on the cheaper side this is for um dry and sensitive skin what it looks like let me try here wow feels so good so good so good it smells nice it smells like lilies i don't usually go for things that have scents but so i guess it's okay it feels good on my hand Feels good on my hands, so you should feel good on my face. And that's that. Okay, time for the bag. <laughs> I secured the bag, literally. This is a very nice bag. It's from Primark. Very affordable. Oh, God. I don't want to get stains on it. Very affordable. Very nice premium matte leather. Let's see what's in here. Okay. I'm decent now. I got this face cap. My brother said he wants a face cap. He doesn't ask for much. If he wants a face cap, he gets an expensive face cap. I got these beautiful earrings from H&M. I'm obsessed with hoops these days, if you can't tell. Oh, I think my Amazon package is here. Yeah. Let's wait and see if he calls in. Waiting for him to ring my flat so that I don't seem like he's stuck. I know. Okay, I'm back so he put it through the door can you tell how hectic it is i don't know if you can feel it from this video don't don't mind my calm voice oh. my head is spinning and i just like the fact that nobody is calling me right now because they probably know like okay she's like busy running around okay so i got like this jewelry case anyways let's keep on with the haul i got this very pretty top from h&m very nice 
you guys will see me wear it soon i got basics like i see if i don't have enough basics i got this pink top look at the back i'm obsessed and stopped at river island river island just naturally expensive honestly so i got really i got like this nice dreary uh so pretty right and then i got this earrings then i stopped at savers i got shaw busy busy stuff and i also got this cream that i want to try it has almond oil and argan oil and shea butter beautiful combinations when i see argan oil argan oil smells so nice and the fact that it has shea butter like i'm sold i mean look at how it comes out so smooth let's try it on it feels so good on my hand smells so nice it smells like baby like a baby's uh cream <laughs> my hand is so soft like look at how it's glowing guys um i got jeans got the same jean but a different color i don't know if you can tell gosh i feel so stupid right now because on this camera it looks like the same but i, I swear it's not the same they have different aesthetics this one, you can get away with wearing it with a white top. You can also get away with wearing it with black, but mostly white. This one, you can get away with wearing it with any color. Like you're good with any color. This is normal jean color. This one is more like a light blue. This is... <sighs> this is select color. Not me trying to defend my stupid spending habits. Not me. I got a plain white once again i have plain whites but it's always nice to have more i got leggings always go for a size smaller than my actual size when it comes to leggings so that it's snatched i got this pretty 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 sandals i always wanted this color i went specifically for this color so yeah that's it for now while we wait for Shein, we're gonna eat and watch something on youtube or watch Grey's anatomy guys my Shein order just came I'm going to unbox it very soon. Right now, I'm sitting on the floor. I have like things everywhere. So much to do. some of them need work some of them are good this is one of them by the way um let me just show you what i'm dealing with so this is the mess there's stuff everywhere i decided to use this bag so i ordered this bag from shein and it looks big it looks big right but it's not i thought we'd be able to carry my laptop but look my laptop is bigger than this, so I have to use my big bag, which I didn't want to have to carry on this trip. But it's fine, we'll be okay. I'll still carry that bag, but it'll be inside my box. And yeah, that's about it. So I'm actually going to pack right now because finally I can see all the things I want to carry. So let's pack. <laughs> Many 
Hi guys. If you're hearing a sound, it's my washing machine. I'm doing my final rounds of washing. I've done my nails. Let me show you like a clearer view. So these are the nails. I'm not obsessed with them, if I'm honest. I don't know, I had something else in mind. Listen, this is the list of my problems, okay? I just finished repacking and like putting everything for real, for real, for real. Inside my boxes and then weighing the boxes and everything. It was over the allocated 23 kg for each box, so I had to like move things, move things around, move things into my hand luggage, just try to balance it up because I'm entitled to 23 kg for two boxes and then I'm I'm entitled to 8 kg for a uh, hand luggage. So after weighing everything, Sha, like we are good. Don't want any surprising stories, you know, at the airport. I'm just trying to avoid. I want this to be as smooth as possible right now i'm going to eat and i'm going to straighten my hair i was going to wash my hair but i already packed my my hair dryer and all that stuff so i'm going to have to just straighten it and i washed it last week though but you know it's always nice to have like a fresh dew a fresh dew sorry what the fuck was that anyways uh, i'm hungry and i need to rest I was thinking about it. Okay. Are you salty? Uh, did they cancel the contract? <laughs> you did it. I know, I know, I know. There's... But there's a couch right there. Uh, uh, put it on Larry's tub. Okay. What? Wait, 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 wait. No. You. hi guys good morning so i am ready the time is 6 30 right now literally so i've been up since 5 30 the devil wanted to pull a stunt so i charged my phone last night to 100 percent so that i can focus on my energy and charging my laptop that was the logic shot and then tell me why i woke up this morning and apparently during my sleep because my phone was under my pillow i had swiped right i be swiped left and my camera was on throughout the night and my phone was hot and so that was draining my battery i woke up to three percent from hundred percent to three percent this morning thank god i woke up like you know when you know your alarm is supposed to go off but it hasn't gone off yet that was my state of mind when i woke up i woke up in a panic like oh my god what happened like i hope i haven't overslept and thank god it was literally past five like some minutes past five the alarm had never gone off yet so thank god literally my battery could have died and my alarm would have not rang and i would have been sleeping great so anyways thank god i woke up early and i saw it and i charged it so right now battery is good everything is charged i'm still going to go back and continue charging it i'm going to order my cab now i'm ready to go i just need to dry up these things and then put them in the cupboard yeah okay bye <laughs>